Hello everyone, I am Shivani and welcome to Civil Series. So this is the second video from the conceptual series. So in this video we are going to see the important concepts based on the question. Okay, first we'll see the question and then discuss the concept behind this question. So first question is, what is the test done using the wicket apparatus? So by using the wicket apparatus, we conduct two tests. First one is consistency test and second is setting time test. So here third option is correct that consistency test is conducted by using the wicket apparatus. Okay, we'll see the one test conducted on cement one by one. So test on cement are... So first test is fineness test. First is fineness test. Okay. This fineness test is conducted by using the air permeability method. Air permeability method. Then second one is consistency. In case of consistency, we'll decide the parameter or we'll decide the value of water content to be added in the cement. Okay, so here we will decide the water content and this test is conducted by using the wicket apparatus. Then C, initial setting time and final setting time. So this is under the setting time. So both the setting time are conducted by using the wicket apparatus. Okay, here one more concept that initial setting time require 0.85 times of T. Okay, means whatever the consistency will find out here, that consistency 0.85 means 85% of that water content is taken for the initial setting time and also for the final setting time. Okay, then D and this is for the compressive strength. Compressive strength and this compressive strength require the water content P by 4 plus 3 percent. Then E tensile test or tensile strength test. Here the water content is P by 5 plus 2.5 percent. And this test is conducted in a brigade apparatus. Then last one is soundness test. And this soundness test First, the soundness test is conducted in a Lee Chatler's test. Okay, in case of Lee Chatler's, we'll find only free amount of lime. Okay, then autoclave. This is also one of the tests for the soundness. In this, we find the free content of magnesium and lime. Okay, so this and last one is the water content required for the soundness is 0 0.72 to 0.78 P. Means 72 to 78% of this consistency. Okay, so this is all about the test conducted on the cement. Then next we move to the second question. Excess in lime causes. So excess in lime causes. So this lime is a content of cement here. So, because of excess of lime content, the cement get expand and disintegrated. So, here last option is correct. So, here uh, the question is about the cement contents. So, we will discuss the content one by one. So, cement content or cement ingredients. So, there is one trick to remember these ingredients easily. So, first trick is lace a success achieved okay this is the short form for the cement ingredient or cement content this l is nothing but lime yes is silica then a is for the alumina i for iron oxide then this yes for sulfur trioxide and this last A is for alkalis. Okay. So here this L, yes. Okay. Here we uh, call it as less 
aim success achieved this is the short form lime silica alumina iron oxide sulfur trioxide and alkalis lime is written as cao silica sio2 alumina al2o3 iron oxide fe2o3 sulfur trioxide so3 then last one is alkalis so your alkalis are of n2o and k2o sodium and potassium okay so lime content is 60 to 65 percent then silica content is 17 to 25 percent alumina content is 3 to 8 percent then iron oxide content is 0.5 to 6 percent sulfur trioxide is 1.3 to 3 percent or you can write it as 1 to 3 percent then alkalis the content of alkalis is 0.5 to 1.3 percent okay so these are the constituent and composition then working of lime content first one if lime content excess okay here if lime content is excess cement get disintegrate and expand so if we control the given amount of a lime into the cement then that cement gains strength and achieve soundness property okay and if we deficient or if we reduce the content of lime then we'll reduce the strength and setting time okay if we control this then we achieve the strength and soundness if we reduce this then we lose the strength and setting time okay and if we excess the lime then cement get expand and disintegrate then second one silica silica also gives strength if we achieve this proportion and if excess if excess silica content is added then it causes slow setting then it causes slow setting okay then alumina alumina is responsible for quick setting for quick setting and if we excess the content of alumina it lowers the strength or it reduces the strength then iron oxide it gives color okay and this iron oxide is used for the fusion or the melting purpose for fusion we use the iron oxide and which gives the color to the cement then sulfur trioxide Here magnesia is remained. Na? So magnesia MgO and the percentage is 0.5 to 4%. Okay. So this magnesia gives color and hardness. Then the excess of magnesia it causes crack and unsoundness okay then last one alkalis because of alkalis the excess of alkalis the efflorescence and cracking form efflorescence and cracking form okay so this is all about the ingredients of cement and these kind of questions are asked based on this given data so this is all about the conceptual part two and thank you for watching we'll come soon with a different video on sunday